All right, today we're going to talk about recoding your VAT. The uh, B9 Creations VAT has a PDMS coating that is consumable, uh, that is applied to the acrylic window. After uh, a number of prints, you'll notice that <clears throat> the most used area will start to become cloudy. When it's, when it's a little bit cloudy, that's not a problem, but as it gets cloudier, it will lead to a de degradation in the quality of your prints, and eventually your prints will begin to fail. So here we have a vat where, sure enough, uh, we've done a lot of printing and it's becoming cloudy here in this area and we've decided it's time to recoat it. The first thing we want to do is clean it thoroughly. You can use paper towels, hot soapy water, even a little rubbing alcohol, but go ahead and leave the PDMS in the vat while you're cleaning it. Uh, take special care on the bottom of the acrylic window to never touch that. When you're cleaning it, maybe use a little Windex and a microfiber cloth so you don't scratch it. That's the, that's the critical area, um, but uh, once you've got it cleaned like this one is, it's time to remove the old coating. It's pretty simple to do. Try to find a corner down here maybe and get your finger underneath it. You can see it starts, starts peeling up and uh, go ahead and pull that out. And uh, there's a little bit of an overflow trough there. That's what I've pulled out and then it kind of flows over the, what we call the dam. But once you get the, um, the top, hold of the top, it's pretty easy to go ahead and peel that out. So you can see maybe in here in the video where that cloudiness was. Um, so you can go ahead and discard that. Uh, after you've done that, you might see a little bit of PDMS um, right along the edges. Go ahead and use a paper towel. Make sure that's all thoroughly cleaned out there. Uh, take a look at the acrylic you should need to clean the top part because it's been protected by the PDMS all along. So now it's ready to be recoated once it's good and, good and cleaned. And to recoat, you're going to want some of the Silgard 184 elastic polymer base and um, curing agent. And you can buy these kits online uh, at various outlets. What, what you're going to want to do though is you're going to want to mix up 65 roughly 65 milliliters. What I do is I'll take a little medicine cup, I'll pour in 60 of, of the main part, and then six of the curing agent. So 60 plus six, or a 10 to one mixing ratio for a total of 66 milliliters of material. Uh, so I'll pour that into a small mixing, graduated mixing cylinder, make sure I've measured the ratio correctly, and then I'll really stir that really, really well. Um, it's going to in introduce a lot of bubbles into the mix when you do that, so uh, that's just part of the normal process. Once you have that thoroughly mixed, you're going to want to pour it into the window side. And you'll notice there's a ridge or a dam right here, and that's about an eighth inch tall. That will keep the, the PDMS from flowing into the other end. Now, before you've done that, you've set up a table and you've ensured that the, the vat sits extremely level both this direction and that on your, on your flat table. What, we've, what we'll do is once we've poured that in, we'll actually <clears throat> raise up about a half an inch uh, the side opposite of the window so this, the, the 66 milliliters you've poured in won't flow over the dam. It'll just sit there. And the reason we do that is we want to let it sit for about 30 minutes so that all those bubbles from mixing can pop and outgas. Uh, once that time has passed and you can look in there and see when all the bubbles are gone, um, then it's time to basically drop it down and let it sit level. And what will happen is over time that PDMS will flow over the dam and get caught in this little trough, the excess will. And that ensures you get an even flat coating across your entire window. Now, if you have an environment that's, say, 74 degrees or warmer, it'll take about 48 hours for that PDMS to cure. It can take longer than that if your environment's colder. Uh, humidity can also check it or change that time duration. But uh, the important thing is to let it sit there for about 48 hours until it's completely cured. You can kind of touch it in the overflow area. It shouldn't leave a fingerprint. That's how you'll know it's done. You might want to put a box over top of it uh, while it's, while it's uh, curing to keep dust out or things from falling in it. 
But uh, once that's cured, you'll have a nice new surface and you'll be ready to begin printing again.